Hey, welcome back. Today I'll be using Uncle John's Cedar Lodge, a very good tree scent in my opinion. Um, this was one of the first scents I ever experienced out of the artisan shapes soap scene. Um, if you if you watched my previous uh, Uncle John's video on Tahitian Dream, I explained how Uncle John's was one of my was the very first artisan soap purchase I ever made. I got five samples, and pipe smoke was the first one I smelled, but this one was the second one, and I really liked. It. I've loved it ever since, and. Uh, I've actually never used this little jar I have. <laughs> I really like it though. It's a very good, uh, it's a pretty simple scent, but very, very good. And it's like, a, it's got that perfect scent range that I really like out of woodsy stuff. Not too strong, not too light and all that. But um, in case you don't know Uncle John's, cause I don't see them used much on Reddit and all that. So if you're, if you frequent Reddit instead of Facebook, you probably won't have not, probably not have experienced them so much because he doesn't do Reddit. He's solely on Facebook as far as online community presence goes. And he's on YouTube as well. Uncle John Soap and More. I can link the, the channel below. But he started making bath soaps and detergents like for a laundry and all that. And they turned it into a business. He got into the artisan shave soap scene. And has become known as a pretty good uh, center. Um, he's very good at making like a mid-strong to higher st strength scents. Um, he knows he usually knows when to stop. I really like the... Uh, his complex scents are good, but his simple scents are just as good as anything out there. I really appreciate him for that. I own, I think, nine or ten of his soaps. They're all very good. So we'll get more into the scent and uh, all that jazz here in just a bit. I'll lather it up and we'll get on with the shave. Uh, Simpson Chubby 3 Badger Knot uh, soaking here. And I've got, as you notice, this is a small, small container. It's a two ounce container. I think they're nine bucks. And I actually don't have many full containers of his, like the four ounce. I think I've got maybe four of them, three or four. It's ever since he came out with the two ounces, I've gotten every release that I bought has been in the two ounce just because, you know, as soap collectors or, you know, if you're like me and get a lot of soaps and try them out and all that, you end up with way too much. And so any chance I can find or I can take where I can get the smaller version, like Katie's Bubbles has a two ounce in a four ounce container where there's room to load. There's really not room to load in this thing unless you're using a travel brush because the soap is packed to the top. It almost skims the lid. But, so I transferred the sample to this and I am uh, transferred a sample to this, scooped it out. I'm just loading up the brush. I'm not going to make a lather in this bowl, although it's kind of happening a little bit on its own. I'll just transfer that to my face. But since I I'm using a badger knot, and badgers are a little stingier with lather. I put a little more than I would have, you know, normally used with a synthetic brush. So we're loaded up now. I've got just about all of it out of there. So as you can see, I've got way too much. I'm going to wet the face. I'll be right back with the lather up and the scent profile. So this scent profile is very, you know, simple. It's uh, Cedar Lodge is the name, but it does contain other things in there that are not cedar. It's it's a it's got a very strong, like higher mid strength base of cedar in there, and it hits you in the face. But I would call the heart note, the middle note, sandalwood. The sandalwood is in there. It's definitely in there. I've checked the scent notes, and then pine is what you get on top. So it's like pine on the top, sandalwood in the middle. And cedar is all underneath that. It's very good scent. Pretty, it's very woody. My wife does not like it because of the pine. She likes cedar, but she does not like the pine in it, so I cannot use it when she's around. She's still gone with the army. So that's why I'm using it today, and I figured I'd go ahead and make a video because I don't know when I'll have time to do it. So this is about a seven, six and a half, seven on scent strength, fairly strong. painted my shirt here it flipped in my hands and I, and I managed to catch it and it, it remains about the same as you lather it is not and to my nose it does not get stronger than that pretty simple scent not much to explain there other than what I just said um, as far as other scents are concerned that I've tried that smell similar to this I would say coniferous by sterling is a much stronger version of this with a lot more pine in it. 
And then also, um, another one I recently did, Kesselford Cedarwood and Sandalwood. Or I think that's actually backwards, Sandalwood and Cedarwood. Um, it smells a lot like this because it's got, you know, cedarwood and sandalwood in it, but it just doesn't have the top to have the top note of pine in it. it they're, otherwise, they're identical. This is just a little bit stronger in scent strength, especially with the pine in there. So if you like those two, I think you'll like this one. All right, we're back. So you can see I have a thick lather on my face. It's a fairly thirsty soap. But you're rewarded with thick, creamy lather. You keep adding it it's not I didn't find I don't find it hard to lather at all and uh, the soap is pretty firm too especially in the uh, bigger containers so it's not a bad idea if you're tub loading to put a few drops of water on there to loosen up and make the loading process a little easier that's what I do with Mike's natural soaps which is even harder but it loads regardless of that whether you do that or not it's gonna load pretty easily it's just if you have, I would recommend if you have a, if you're using a synthetic knot to uh, not press down too hard because you can kind of damage your knot sometimes by doing that. All right. I kind of dispense with my recent convention of shaving the first pass without, without talking. Kind of forgot about that. That's probably because I made those instructional videos for my friends and was talking throughout that one. So kind of went back into my old habit. It's a little thin right here, but um, it's because I use more water. It's also the last parts of the brush, of what was in the brush. But um, This soap hits all the marks, doesn't necessarily excel at any of them. The slickness is pr pretty good. And it's got a very good post shave. The residual slickness is okay. You can buff, but I wouldn't overdo it if you have sensitive skin. Like my neck, I don't. I, I wouldn't uh, buff too much, more than maybe once, just because it's so. Uh, but if there's enough residual slickness for me to go uh, against the grain up here, so I'm going to do that. Usually don't have that issue up here anywhere. Okay. A little bit of a touch up of the line up there. Uh, my beard line does not look right today. Actually, it's beard's a little longer than normal. I usually trim it, keep it much shorter than this. So it's causing some trimming issues. Well, when I'm trimming the neckline here, I usually have very short hairs. And one of the reasons for that is the clipper fell out of my uh, beard trimmer and I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. So we'll be back with the uh, final remarks. All right, we're back. Um, good shave, no irritation. Um, as I can tell from the alum and all that, I'm just applying some witch hazel here. I do not have the matching splash, so I'll have to go and uh, figure out what I'm gonna use. Maybe some, use something completely different like Aqua Velva since it's uh, still warm outside. Although it's a lot cooler today, surprisingly. It feels great outside. It feels kind of like a very early fall, which is not technically fall yet. It's good to see. Um, yeah, good soap. I will always be one of his customers just because he makes stellar scents. Um, I think he's an, under, an underrated artisan. But one thing, one thing I think is holding him back, you know, as far as breaking out even further, which he does pretty well for himself. And he mostly makes his, he doesn't make most of his uh, sales from shave stuff. It's the soap and the detergent, all that other stuff. This is more of a secondary enterprise on his half. But um, a lot of people just aren't fans of the labels. Now I think it fits this one. It's pretty good. It's uh, it fits the image. But some, some of the labels look a little eh, they're just kind of so-so. And uh, a lot of people are drawn to just label art. They'll say they'll say outright if the, if they don't like the label, they're not going to buy it, which is a shame because you're really missing out on some good stuff from him. Um, so I think um, consideration in the future needs to be made to maybe um, spruce up the label art some. Um, that factors in the cost. So 
I don't know if that will happen or not, but um, we'll see. We'll see what he does later on because um, uh, he's a good businessman and uh, they adapt. I'd say give it a chance. Um, if you like tree scents, get this one. Pipe Smoke is a huge uh, scent for him. I, I encourage you to try that one. Um, just yeah, go his way, send him some business, try out his bath soap even. It's good too. It's uh, vegan if you care about that kind of thing. Um, and just check him out as a person. Um, chat with him, send him an email or something. He's a good guy. He will always... Uh, he always puts the customer first. He always emails you if there's a problem and he will get things to you as quickly as possible if there's an issue. He's a great guy to work with and I really like him a lot. He will always have my business. So anyway, that being said, great soap, great sense, great guy. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like the video or um, if you have any comments or questions about Uncle John's soap or this what I use today, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Castration on mass, anyone? Say